Hello buddy, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be taking a look at Bitdefender versus Unseen Malware. Now what do we mean by Unseen? Well what we mean is rather than going to sample sites to download malware samples, we're going to go to places that we know we can get malware samples. Now why would we do that? Well, because the goal is to see rather than how many signatures the antivirus has, which is not ever that useful in the wild as we see in any of my videos where Defender stops nothing useful and sometimes stops the removal tools instead. So let's see how Bitdefender does. This is not a sponsored video, I don't have any relationship with them. I just happened to try it once and was quite impressed with it, so I thought we'd do a proper test. If anyone has antivirus suggestions, free or paid, uh, please do comment them, with one exception. Given the US ban and the fact that that ban is probably going to extend elsewhere, Kaspersky, uh, I, I just, I, I know it is a good product, but given the sanction situation, I can't really recommend it. Now, one of the uh, top videos for Fortnite Sin Swapper, which is one of the queries we're going to use to find malware, is ironically my video. Uh, hopefully, people watch that instead of... Okay. Uh, okay. Do that. Now, this site had done something... Oh, oh Bitdefender caught it, but uh, we're going we're gonna to proceed anyways. Uh, this site had a similar setup to what Buzz Heavier did, except it was actually a fake download button rather than just opening itself. And then we go to a Mediafire link, and we get this payload. Now, just like uh, the other one, the first is not encrypted, but then the second is 2244. And this looks like roughly the same scheme. Why is the passcode text 87 megabytes? <laughs> and it actually is. There's nothing there's nothing in there. That's just that's troll. That doesn't make sense. So we've now installed Bitdefender. And I think we've actually seen this uh oh good bitdefender blocks the link but we're going to assume that we click through it because we want to test the malware not the web blocking although the web blocking is clearly very good i i think this channel was actually featured in a previous video although the link has been swapped so youtube is about page reporting is still broken oh wow so i was browsing github looking for uh, something a bit sussy wussy okay let's just create an account and I try to download it, and Bitdefender says no. And these are the things you would get with the paid. Uh, but we get the most important thing, which is real-time data protection, which definitely seems to work. We've configured it. And now we can try it. We can try some different uh, things. So it looks like this Weiler Executor uh, is not going to download. And this guy has a lot of different fakes. Now, I'm going to assume these are all the same. Oh. Uh, nope, nope, uh, that one's not getting through either. Although, virus total doesn't catch it, so it must be using some sort of heuristic detection. So, so far we're looking pretty good. But let's try executing these ones that we already got. So, can we run RG Catalyst? And I'm also, I'm going to turn back on MITM proxy, so we can find out in real time, uh, whether this worked or not. Because the problem with info stealers, oh, oh, uh, it's gone. <laughs> nah. Let's see what uh, just got quarantined. It's gone. Now, uh, let's try set up passwords. Malicious behavior blocked. Oh, okay. So it was blocked. That's good. Good work. Now let's try this one. Now what I can also see in my Tim proxy is that there is quite a bit of cloud activity going on. Uh, and uh, looks like... Looks like uh, this one was just blocked as well. Well, I'm not one to give up. And this is a wonderful... Uh, this this has a, what looks like a chat GPT generated readme, so I want to run this as root. Oh, this has even got a proper, uh, okay. So it's got a Visual Studio solution. Let's just see if we can find the payload in this, because I, I don't have a ton of, I don't want to install Visual Studio. And we don't have to, because I found, I found the magic. 
Let's see if this one works. Oh, well, we definitely got quite a bit further, uh, but we are, we are, oh, okay, it didn't, it didn't work. <laughs> the totally legit Valorant open source hacks uh, got killed, and let's just validate that nothing ever hit a command, nope, nope, nothing ever made it to a command and control server, and we just have an absolute barrage of Nimbus.BitDefender SIGs. Now let's actually see what that's doing. Are, are we paying a substantial privacy price? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, we're not getting the entire of the file. No, just every time these files have been created, uh, I assume it's taking the hash, but there's nothing Nothing super concerning in that. It's not sending the whole file, which would be a bit more worrying. So decode.ps1 was infected with a... Uh, it was hit with a heuristic detection. We can view the attack timeline. Okay, so this time it got to this level. And then the threat was detected before anything else was able to happen. Pretty good. Let's try another favorite. A uh, totally legit uh, application application that I'm not going to say for fear of pissing off YouTube uh, as to uh, what what it does, but if you've ever seen the name before, you might know. Okay, and these guys actually just put a blank password, so we'll put 2024 in there. Oh, doesn't work. And it's out. And it just executed as administrator. We could be in trouble. We could have finally found uh, something. Oh, Windows Firewall just got turned off. Or was that always off? Oh, and we got a, we got a DNS lookup for Pastebin. But we did then proceed to get a hit. For, and so far, nothing has actually left our system. But that's just a tiny bit worrying. And there is a fair amount of of back and forth communication as we can see but okay well from memory of the last time i tested this program uh, i think it did have a gui so i think it has been intercepted and it certainly if it was a stealer it certainly didn't work but oh, we just got a data breach notification for yandex well i don't use yandex yeah i'm not sure what's going on here uh, I, I don't know if the virus was just a fail the only way to find out for sure is to attempt to run the file again. Because every other file that was detected was removed. But maybe it detects uh, a portion of the payload. Yeah, and it successfully DNS looks up Pastebin. Uh, looks up Google. But it doesn't get any further. Well, uh, to solve this mystery, given there's no data being sent, we can try some of the same tools that we used in the last video to see. But I think the main thing we've learned is that Bitdefender is very effective, much more so than Windows Defender, but that it is very important that you get Bitdefender going before you run malware. Scanning X post is not that effective in the modern era, where everything is small, encrypted, and signature detection is pretty much useless. Yep, there's no indication that anything illegitimate has been installed. These are just false positives that I, I don't know why they come and go, but that's good. You can also check process monitor to make sure that the that the uh, fake process is not running. It seems like we've gotten a perfect score. And we can see nothing is running that shouldn't be. So that was impressive. You know, I've said a lot of bad things about the state of the antivirus industry, but it seems like Bitdefender are doing some things right. So that is going to be all for this video. I think, uh, given this is this doesn't cost money, and it clearly works better, there is only one catch, which is, especially if you're using riskware, or things that modify other programs, like, let's say, cheats, you may get a lot of false positives, and that's, that's a problem. There's the age-old trade-off of... Specificity and uh, precision, I think I have my words right. Uh, and that happens here as well, but I would much rather have an antivirus that catches most threats and some other 
issues than an antivirus that catches basically no threats and still gets a lot of false positives. So that's all from me for now. Please let me know in the comments if you'd like me to test antiviruses. They can either be ones you think are good or ones you think are going to be terrible. That's all from me for now. Bye.